Today we're going to do a quick five minute project on the bushwhacker and that's going to be replacing the mounting hardware for the galley door latches. And what I'm talking about is when they mount the galley door, they use three quarter inch, uh, essentially sheet metal screws to mount the door latches into the door. And it doesn't take very long for those three quarter inch screws to come loose from the door. And then once that happens, then you start getting damage around the screw holes uh, into that block of wood that is inside of your door skin itself. So real simple little project, take you five minutes, uh, $10 in parts from the hardware store and, and you'll have the, have the situation taken care of. So what I did was ran to Ace Hardware and picked up some three quarter inch 10, number 10 by 24 thread uh, blind fasteners. It's called a blind nut and it's 1024 thread. And then I picked up four one inch stainless steel uh, countersunk sheet metal screws. And that's what we're going to use to replace these uh, just plain sheet metal screws that were into the wood. Uh, these two will go together. Oh, got one hand here, so I can't really put them together. Uh, but this threads into this and it pulls against the inside skin of the door so it compresses the gasket that goes underneath your door handle. And once you install these blind fasteners and new screws, you can really squeeze this gasket down, get a nice tight seal uh, with your door latch handle on the door itself. To do this, it's real simple. You'll need a, a 3 16 drill bit, a quarter inch drill bit, and the quarter inch drill bit I've got marked with tape so that it shows how deep I need to go in order to just recess this blind nut inside the door skin with a little extra to go. You don't need to drill that quarter inch hole all the way through your door skin. So what I did was I marked the shaft of the door handle first and there should be a mark on there. Yeah, you can just barely see it, but uh, I put a mark on there with my knife blade just so I knew where to put that latch arm back on the shaft. <clears throat> then removed the door handle, the two screws that held it on and actually removed the shaft first, but then removed that. So once I got the door handle removed, cleaned off all the old sealer and then drilled all the way through the door using the two original uh, door screw holes as a guide. I drilled um, as square as you can straight through the door with that 3 16 inch drill bit and then switched to your quarter inch drill bit and come in from the underside of the door and enlarge those holes that you drilled into the quarter inch holes. And once you've got that in, then you can insert those blind fasteners from the inside into the quarter inch holes. Come back to the outside, put your gasket back down over your holes. Um, then uh, insert your door latch, put your new screws down there into the blind fasteners. And this is what you wind up with on this side that I've already got done. Lighting's an issue today. But there you can see the countersunk screws go in and it gives you a real nice clean look here on the inside. There's the blind fasteners, uh, super simple, and it squeezes that down. There's actual wood inside the door here, so these blind fasteners squeeze between uh, the inside and outside of the door. So it gives you a real nice fit. That door latch is nice and tight now with no movement at all, whereas before it was actually about ready to fall out. The screws are so loose. So super simple project, encourage everyone to do that. Uh, $10 in parts, five minutes in time, and you're good to go. Thank mm -hmm. you.